Hello, my name is Daryl Perkins and today I'm going to be talking about Universal Design for Learning. Universal Design for Learning was originated in the field of architecture and is a way of thinking about teaching and learning that would that helps give all students an equal opportunity to succeed. This approach offers flexibility in the way students ex access material, engage with it, and show what they know. Uh, I personally love Universal Design because it gives the teacher the opportunity to reach their students' education barriers and different things that may hold the student back from performing to their full capa capacity. As a teacher begins to use this message, method, they are able to see students excel in their classroom. And I believe as a teacher, that's one. I believe every teacher wants that for their children. Their children in the classroom is, is to succeed. And I appreciate it because it, not only does it give the teacher the ability to do what they have to do in the classroom, but it also brings the teacher down from their level of, oh, I got my degree, I got all these things, but it brings them down to a level of, okay, you know what, let me see how I could learn with these students. And uh, one way I will use UDIL is by setting them up, them up in groups. I may be teaching the classroom one, one way, but the students may be perceiving it in another way. With that being said, as they sit at the table with each other, I'm able to go to each table and talk with the students, break down different things with the students, and see how they're learning different things. And through it all, at the end of the day, I may learn something new or a different way to teach the students. So I will definitely put them in groups. The second thing I will do is I will use my other gift. You know, and that's technology. I'm real good with technology. Um, currently, right now, I do IT. So another thing that I will you do is uh, get their attention. What does young people like to do right now? Everybody loves to be on their phone, their iPads, their tablets. I will create an app um, uh, pertaining to the class, and um, especially when it comes to uh, to whatever I may be teaching at the moment, I'll use that and. Um, to better engage with them and have fun activities on the iPad, on the cell phone, and all these things to make sure that the students are getting what they need in order to succeed.